According to the CDC, in 2020 and in the last 20 years, the number of adults diagnosed with diabetes has more than doubled as the American population ages. Dr. Kumar joins us now to talk about our symptoms we should be looking out for, as well as prevention and treatment of the disease. Good morning, Dr. Kumar. How are you? Good morning, man. It's good to see you. I'm doing well. Thank you. Um, I think the number is something like 34 million Americans suffer from diabetes. Uh, why is this happening? Uh, can you believe it? One in 10 Americans, because the population is roughly 330 million or so in the United States. Uh, and a major risk factor is, is diet, exercise, and the rising epidemic of obesity. The reason it's important to highlight this today, because tomorrow, November 14th, is going to be, or November 14th was World Diabetes Day. So it's an opportunity to shed some light on this very common disorder. It's the seventh, if you see in a graphic, the seventh leading cause of death in the United States. And what diabetes does, it's a problem with regulating glucose or your sugars. And when your sugars and your blood sugar levels rise, then you're prone to get all these complications. The, the sugar, uh, the glucose deposits in the basement membranes of all types of cells of your body, the back of your eyes, your kidneys, your heart, your blood vessels. So it can give rise to a host of complications and cause organ damage, um, morbidity, and definitely mortality. It's a leading cause of death. Uh, these symptoms that we're seeing on our screen here are uh a very severe, very dangerous, alarming, I think is the right word, uh, numbing or tingling of the hands, sores that heal slowly, more infections than usual. I take it that that is what I should be on the lookout or any of our viewers should be on the lookout for uh, to, to alert us to go see a doctor in, in case something is wrong. Yeah, you know, those are usually later complication of diabetes, and the earliest signs of diabetes will be mild or not noticeable at all. And so that's why people that are at risk ought to have a routine annual physical, ought to check with your doctor, because oftentimes the very, very first signs aren't there at all, and all you notice is that your blood sugar is elevated on a routine blood test. And so uh, oftentimes the symptoms that do present uh, when a patient is diabetes and you don't know it and you're wondering if you do is frequent urination. You know, the sugar levels rise and they cause you to urinate. You might be waking up at night to urinate. <clears throat> Certainly that can happen to men as we age, as the prostate gets bigger. But in everybody, if you start having increased free, uh, urination, that's something to think about. And, and also, like you said, some of the, the tingling in your fingers, your hands, and healing wounds, and wounds that won't heal, those are later complications. And also, uh, you have another very common there is losing weight without trying. Your sugar goes up and your, when you start urinating more, your weight comes down. And so these are the kind of signs that you can watch out for. But more importantly, particularly for the major type of diabetes, type 2 diabetes, which means that you don't require insulin to survive versus type 1, which is something you're born with. It's a genetic disorder. Uh, you have to have insulin or you're, you're going to be in the hospital, particularly for type 2. It's slow in onset. The symptoms can be slow in onset, so it's important to, to see your doctor. The major risk factor is obesity and a family history. So if you have a family history of diabetes um, in your family and you're, you're above ideal weight, you're at risk and you should try not to gain weight because that's certainly more likely to, for you to develop diabetes and see your doctor regularly, at least annually, get your blood, blood levels checked. Um, the, you know, and last question I have here in, in the time we have left, uh, we have heard a lot that uh, diabetes is now another pandemic due to the COVID pandemic because so many people haven't gone to see uh, their primary care physician on a regular basis in the last year and a half. Yes, well, <clears throat> there's a rising diagnosis of all sorts of diseases because of the pandemic, because of a delay in care. Um, and also, like you said, the sedentary lifestyle, there's probably going to be, we, we've already seen, you know, data to show that the average weight of, of Americans is going up. And since uh, obesity and, and raising, rising weight is a risk factor for diabetes, that could be another reason that we're seeing the uptick. It's either a delay in diagnosis and everybody's coming over the fence. All these people that didn't see doctors for a year and a half are not coming and we're diagnosed with all these issues that we did before that existed independent of the pandemic but finally presenting and then there's an element of it that's due to the pandemic and the rising level of obesity yeah, yes make, make those appointments make them now dr kumar thank you so much it's always good talking to you thank you amanda it's good to see you and if you have a question for dr kumar email us at ask dr kumar gmail.com don't forget to check out his website drkumar.com